Hello again, my crafty friends. Well, my Halloween crafting is over for this year, and it's time to create some more fall cards. I'm going to be using my kit from Club Echo Park called Fall Market. I'll be assembling all five cards on camera, but sped up with a voiceover. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Let's get started. This is card number one. I'll be using the card sketch Operation Ride Home number 27. These plastic bags are awesome. I'm using 100 pound craft cardstock from Amazon, specifically Cardstock Warehouse. I am matting with a piece of burnt orange cardstock that I got from where did I get it from? And this is Garden Green. It's one of my favorite greens. I probably could have used a little bit more like a fern green for this particular pattern paper. And these are both the same piece, just turned over. And this is a piece of ephemera popping up on foam tape or foam dots that I got from Amazon. And so I will be putting that on the front. And I'm not decorating the inside of the card yet, just the outsides. So it says, Happy Fall. So I think it's just perfect. Happy Fall, y'all. Okay. For card number two. I'm using my little cut-aparts here, and the sketch is Operation Ride Home number 25, vaguely based on it, and I am embossing using a Crackle embossing folder just for some texture. Please excuse the noise. We have gardeners on Fridays. But anyway, I'm going to lay that down and then put my pieces one at a time. I thought I had figured this out earlier, but <laughs> they don't fit exactly, so I have to kind of play with it a little bit. And there will be some space that I will be able to put my leaf embellishments. There's four. There's Hello Fall. So that gives us a sentiment on the outside. So I had a little bit of trouble with my glue there. But I stuck a pin in it and now it's working. It's the Tombow Mono Adhesive. That's what happens when you leave the lid off. <laughs> Okay, card number three. This is Mojo Monday, number 459. And again, I am not following it to the letter. I've got my burnt orange and my guard green matting. And I'll be using the solid, more solid side instead of the print. Here comes the gardeners. I hope you can't hear that. Okay, I love this sunflower print. Very pretty. I will be using two pieces instead of three. You'll see me holding up my fingers. Because I am matting, I want to be able to have room for everything. I'm going to talk a little louder because they do come up right next to the house. I apologize for that. Just bad timing all around.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to entertain you with some music until they went away because it was just really noisy. So anyway, I put that up on foam tape. That will probably be a Thanksgiving card. All right, card number four. We are using Call Me Crafty Owl's Sheetload Sketch. I love this sketch because it uses up more pattern paper. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be using my leaf. I have to do a little bit of surgery there. But the leaf pattern and then the plaid pattern over that matted with burnt orange and then the cut apart on green, the garden green. Nope. Oh. Sounds like they have to make another pass. If it gets too noisy, I will just interject with music instead of my voiceover. Okay. I have another refill of my tape runner at the ready. I, I love how the pieces angle. That's one of the favorite parts of this to me. Okay, and now card number five. This is a fun fold, but it's also one of Call Me Crafty Owl's card sketches uh, from October 2019. Because I made Thanksgiving cards with this, and I can certainly link that down in the description box and also up in the cards. And her measurements are going to be slightly different than mine because I like to cover a lot with the paper. And so um, I can't remember the exact measurements now, but it was like 3 8 or something to that effect. Just so I cover up the craft card stock more. I do a print, a solid, and sometimes a solid. See what I did there? I taped the whole thing and I was only supposed to tape the left hand side. So I'm thinking, okay, how do I fix this? Okay, no problem. I'll just go ahead and make an insert for the inside now and show you how that's going to look. I'm going to stamp it first before I send it out, of course. And I can just reduce the sticky with my embossing buddy. So that's what it's going to look like after I stamp it, and then I'll attach everything. Okay, everybody, here are my five cards <coughs> made with four sketches and my fun fold, cut aparts, ephemera, and some leftover punched out leaves. Thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate your time. Bye-bye.